Hey there, this is Vince with ArticleMarketingRobot.com. In this video, I am going to create an article and continue on with the video series for this October 5th at InfoBlasters.com email account. So um, basically, I'm going to just do a best practices video. I'm not going to get into how to use the spinner or whatnot. I'm, I have an article already pre-written and ready to go. I'm just going to kind of copy and paste it in and walk you along, uh, walk you through how things are supposed to be done properly. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to add, click add your article, and you're going to want to create a catchy title. Um, shit. Let's restart. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter a title. Uh, it doesn't have to be super long. Uh, usually, seven to ten words is fine. Uh, mine's ten words. Um, a lot of the times, you know, people will spin your titles. I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to go over spinning in this video, but uh, you can spin your title or recreate it ten or fifteen times. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. But a standard title looks just like this, no problems. Uh, next thing you want to do is put your summary in place. The summary is a quick synopsis of your article. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when creating your summary is do not use an excerpt from your article body because you know as as easy it is and if you want to be lazy to do that you you'll get lots submitted but you'll have better success rate if you create your summary which is going to be unique from the body. Okay, so um the next thing you're going to want to do, of course, is create your article body itself and ensure that your article body is no less than 500 words. I mean, many, many article directories will accept less content, but also you'll get a lot more failures if you have less than 500 words. I've, it's, it happens all the time. Now, uh, other things to consider when, when, um, adding content to the summary in the body is do not put any HTML into your article body or your summary. If you do, your article will get rejected by many article directories like Article Dashboard, Articles MS, Article Friendly, all those sites do not like HTML. The only exception to the rule is WordPress sites. So if you're going to use HTML in your article body, only submit it to WordPress sites. Okay. Now, lastly, this is the most important part, the resource box. This is where you get your link back, um, back to your site. So you want to have a catchy call to action sort of thing. I mean, I don't know how many people are actually going to be reading your articles on a lot of these directories. That The primary purpose of submitting articles is to gain backlinks, at least in my opinion. So you want to have a resource box um, filled with something that at least can give you the ability to put two links in it. Um, do not put more than two links in your resource box, uh, only two links. But in this case, as you can see, I don't have any links right now, so I need to actually add the HTML. And I will do that right now. So my keyword that I'm targeting right now is article submitter. So the easiest thing for that is to just copy it using like highlight and copy, and then click Control C, and go up to the URL, -er, and then bring that into frame here and then enter your URL which is going to be for me articlemarketingrobot.com and the keyword and then click do it and what that's going to do is it's going to create the properly formatted HTML so that you get the link back to your website so I will just copy and paste that in and then I will do that again for the click here part now, you'll notice that I'm actually going to be creating anchor text that says click here back to my website. And you're probably going to be wondering, well, why would you do that? That's not the keyword you're trying to target. Well, now I'm not going to say that this is a best practice, but from what I've read, having non-anchor text uh, matching uh, key uh, phrases back to your website is also beneficial in other ways. Um, so I'm, this is more of an experiment for me. You definitely don't have to follow this example. Um, a, lo a lot of times also people will, uh, I've, I've read 
that you can instead of putting any anchor text you just put your entire website uh, as a as a link so for me it'd be like you know www.articlemarketing.robot.com and that would also be the anchor text okay so moving along um, keywords naturally you want your uh, keywords to be uh, what your article is targeting and this is not your categories this is your keywords in my case I am targeting article submitter so my keyword is going to be article submitter and internet marketing and you don't need too many keywords only a couple will do the time when you need a lot of uh, items is in the comma delimited categories now this is one of the most important parts of article marketing where you have to submit your article to the proper category um, now article marketing robot will choose a random category if the category is not found but of course you would like to get your article submitted to the proper category it's just better for overall SEO so uh, in my case I'm gonna use article submitter article marketing internet marketing and then break it down to marketing SEO search internet business money employee hobby miscellaneous so as you can see I go from the very specific and get broader and broader as my categories get further and further apart and that uh, is is the best way to structure your comma delimited categories okay so now before you go ahead and save your article you save by clicking OK but before you go ahead and do that make sure you hit the preview button and the reason you do this is because you want to see if your links, your backlinks, and your article is displaying correctly. So I'll just bring my Internet Explorer into, uh, or sorry, my Firefox into into window here. So here's my article. Um, it's pretty much the exact same, nothing spun. But down here, just ensure that your links are working because if you go and spin your article and you got malformed HTML, then you're not going to get the backlink, and that's going to be a big problem so ensure that that is correct and both the links are working so now I can go back to the software click OK and there's my article so uh, that is the end of this video I all I wanted to do was show you the proper structure to set up an article so let's uh, let's do a quick recap uh, seven to ten words in the title uh, not too long of a summary 26 words is fine I wouldn't go more than 50 ensure that the summary is is unique from the article body and in the body do not put any HTML no links no list items no nothing unless you're submitting primarily primarily only to WordPress sites ensure that your article body is more than 500 words and for the resource box uh, maximum two links um, ensure that you use properly formatted HTML and try to use call to action and proper punctuation. I forgot my period there. Keywords, you don't need a lot, just a couple um, directly related to the uh, content of your article. And common delimited categories, try and think as broadly as you can, um, starting off with specific to go broad. And the more the merrier, the more specific to your niche, the better. And that is it. That is uh, the recap. So my article is saved, and I will do another video on the actual submission. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.